Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Wednesday, February 8th. Tesla has managed to cut the price of its electric cars in half over five years, and it might do so again with the next generation vehicle platform. Despite its high prices, Tesla has attracted some non-luxury buyers over the years who've been willing to pay a premium to go electric. But it has actually been going gradually down over the years. The price hikes in response to inflation and pre-cost raising mitigation has been chucked away at with the recent price decreases. And Tesla has managed to cut the average sale price by half since 2017. Now, despite the 22-year breaking that trend and also Tesla cashing in on 15% margins, What's even more exciting is that Tesla is getting ready to unveil its third-generation platform very soon. There's not many details available about it quite yet, but it is expected to focus on reducing the cost by improving manufacturability and achieving a new level of scale. It's highly likely that this platform will use Tesla's 4680 battery cell structural battery pack design and latest large casting technology. This will also free up Tesla to work on other projects that were cost prohibitive before such as the Holy Grail $25,000 electric car. Tesla will finally unveil a planned expansion of its master plan on March 1st at the company's Investor Day Summit at Gigafactory, Texas. The company said that Investor Day would include factory tours and a discussion of Tesla's long-term expansion plans and the upcoming Generation 3 platform. An image shared by Elon Musk shows a mosaic of stamped car bodies. Tesla has previously said that Master Plan Part 3 is all about achieving very large scale in vehicle and battery pack production, including mining, refining, actually enough to do an entire shift of the Earth's energy infrastructure. Now, Tesla has already began shifting into this realm, such as making moves to enter the mining business. According to Elon Musk, the event will also have a focus on the energy future of Earth. Tesla's current sustainable energy products include solar system installations, solar roof tiles, and stationary battery installations. Tesla's energy business has been growing at a rapid pace, largely outside the public eye. California released its 2022 vehicle data and confirmed that Tesla is dominating the market, leading to a new record of 17% market share for electric vehicles. The Model Y has even become the best-selling vehicle in the state, with over 87,000 deliveries. And wouldn't you know it, the Model 3 came in second, just short of 79,000 units. Toyota is still the best-selling brand overall in California, thanks to having many more models, which is actually starting to be seriously threatened by Tesla. Considering that registrations were down, looking at the grand total, Tesla was one of very few companies that saw an increase year over year. Rental car company Hertz disclosed that it took delivery of half of its massive Tesla order of 100,000 electric cars. In 2021, Hertz announced the massive purchase of all of them being Model 3s. The rental car company said that they expected to have all of them by the end of 2022, though Tesla didn't seem to be completely on board with that timeline. Today, it was disclosed, quote, Hertz's fleet in the Americas peaked at 428,700 vehicles for the year, ended December 31st, 2022, of which 11% were Tesla cars, the filings showed. The company also had an additional 1,187 Teslas in its international fleet. Okay, so adding that all up, it comes to 48,344. Hertz announced that on top of adding Tesla vehicles to its rental fleet, the company also made a deal with Uber drivers to offer them access to Tesla vehicles. It's not unclear if this program accounted for the ones on top or alongside Hertz's fleet of Tesla's consumer rentals. We haven't heard too much from Karma Automotive, but now Karma has announced that it has formed a partnership with Beyond to produce the company's ELCVs. Karma Automotive states that it will produce an initial run of the Beyond's all-electric delivery trucks in 2023. This is ahead of full-scale production plan for 2024. Neither company shared how many vehicles that Karma is aiming to produce this year, but its current footprint has the capacity to manufacture 30,000 vehicles annually. Pre-production is expected to begin this July. The Rolls-Royce Spectre has covered almost 2 million kilometers as it wraps up the most rigorous testing program ever, as they call it. During the program, Rolls-Royce engineers inspect all aspects of the vehicle to ensure that it can achieve the exact levels of refinement to give that magic carpet ride customers are seeking. After testing in South Africa is finished, 
Rolls-Royce says that its Spectre's testing program will be about 80% complete as it heads to final testing before the release. The first Rolls-Royce EV deliveries are planned for the fourth quarter of 2023. The new 2024 Cadillac Lyric is set to include several new trim options, a radiant new color selection, and inclusion in the federal EV tax credit. That one's a pretty big deal. Despite receiving high praise for its first electric vehicle, General Motors actually only delivered 122 of the Cadillac Lyric last year. They were saying that they were ramping up production slowly and methodically to ensure customer quality. Well, now in their second year, the 24 version is said to have a sportier grille accent, 20-inch wheels, interior and exterior ambient lighting, and an estimated 308 miles of range. Cadillac has yet to release pricing. John Deere has launched an electric riding lawnmower. The electric mower features a 3.2 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery capable of mowing up to two acres per charge. This should be a more quiet and pleasant experience for lawnmowers everywhere as the electric drive removes the putts and rumble of a gas engine. I'm sure no one at John Deere noticed, but the electric mower is also free from oil changes, filters, belts, and much of the general maintenance. Like Tesla, John Deere is a company that is pushing hard against the right to repair, and having software dominance over buyers is a point of concern for many professional agriculture products. Anyways, the John Deere Z370R electric mower is available for pre-order now with a listed price of $6,399. In today's community comment found on YouTube, that Scottish engineer guy says, Alpha Motors is focusing on small investors because they know that large investors will do enough research to discover that their chances of success are minimal at best. Few things are more dangerous to investors than an owner who knows how to model but knows nothing about engineering. I speak from experience. Very expensive experience. Well, thank you, Scottish engineer guy. I wholeheartedly agree. I try to seem marginally impartial while making yesterday's segment on the Alpha Motors, but uh, personally, I do agree. I think it's a bad idea to invest. The truck looks great, but having a good-looking glider doesn't say much for a whole car company. I think that the realistic goal for such a paper-thin company is to get some investor money and then sell the design and email list to some other company. Problem is, I don't know who would buy such a list. The established automakers who are making electric trucks, like Volkswagen, Rivian, Tesla, or Ford, they don't need such a paltry offering. If other companies that are starting up want to make an electric truck, like Bollinger or Via Motors or, I don't know, Vanderhall or something, I can't imagine that they would pay a lot for such a design when, I don't know, they might even consider copying it. I don't know, maybe there's something I'm missing, but I really don't see a lot of value in the Alpha Motors company. I'd much rather invest in Aptera, but regrettably, I haven't even done that yet, so <laughs> I'll get to it. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>